Next up, we have Ralph Krauss, and he is uh, has all kinds of qualifications. You can look it up in your program. Thank you. Okay. Were we supposed to get a uh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Stay uh, microphone. Does uh, somebody have a thing here? But we're going over there. This is a problem for me. Anyway, uh, I don't normally uh, uh, prepare a text. I wing it, that kind of thing. But I was given only ten minutes. Uh, it is now down to five. And uh, unless somebody gives me a relief here. Uh, but uh, excuse my bluntness, uh, that's the way I am. I've been cautioned about that, but I don't suffer fools well. Uh, Tom Z, there he is, once called me, among other things, a lawyer. And I consider that the highest compliment I have ever been given. And Tom, thank you very much. Mississippi election uh, GOP primary. For, for a better understanding, I wanted to do it in the context of the overall priority facing our country. I was also asked not just to talk about it, but to uh, give actions, action required. We have a rule in our group in Erie County, uh, present the problem, but always, always in the end, the recommended required action for a solution. I did this when I was working as a as a, a general manager many years ago, uh, I always told my people, uh, if you come into my office and whine without thinking it through and recommending to me an action, then don't come in. And uh, I think it's a good way to do it, especially to save time. <coughs> whining is a lot of what we do. We have to always be remember, we'll always remember what is whining and what is productive. Uh, Tom? Poor Tom. He was going to put up my exhibit. But anyway, please refer to the exhibit. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, you all have a copy of this, I hope. Thanks to uh, John. Uh, it's called a, Const a Constitutional Crisis, and it's my thoughts and reflections on what is going on in this country today. Uh, and in my opinion, this is the fundamental issue of our time. How we Americans confront it will determine our fate. The primary immediate action required for this is for the GOP to win control of the Senate. However, in the process, we must support Tea Party conservative candidates like McDaniel, who, who can replace the GOP establishment candidates where possible. But it's also more important that they be strong enough to win in November. And I think we do, as you may see later on my analysis, but there are great candidates that have a shot. We can hopefully, by doing this, remove the current weak GOP leadership and infuse the will to confront Obama, the architect of this crisis. The will, the will is what is missing from our GOP leadership. Okay, secondly, the second exhibit is, uh, if I have time to go through it, it shows the status of the 14 possible GOP, the, the 14 possible G, GOP Senate pickup seats. To win control of the Senate, the GOP must win a net of six seats in November. Net because if we lose one, we have to win another from the, from the, uh, from the Democrats. Today, three of these seats look safe and four of them likely. However, we should also be concerned uh, of the corrupt Obama machine, money machine, and their system of voter fraud. And uh, we're going to talk about voter fraud later in the meeting. Uh, I want to emphasize, if I have time, that there's more than just people going in, in to the polls and double, double voting and all that kind of junk. My opinion is, and I've done a study, and it's not completed yet, but the, the biggest voter fraud in this country is the corrupt registries that exist, and not just Ohio, but all over the country. 
Uh, and it doesn't take a genius to figure out how the Democrat Party, with their experience of community organizing, <coughs> Warren, Obama, on how to use, utilize what they know as what is corrupt on the system by right? just bringing people to the polls to vote for those illegitimate uh, voter, registered voters. Uh, can I have a break here? I mean, you know, okay? At the bottom of the exhibit, at the bottom of the exhibit uh, are the 12 red states that Romney won by double digits in 2012. They're all considered safe for the GOP, except Georgia, which is considered likely. It is here that we're here where we have the three remaining primaries and the conservative candidates, McDaniel, Mississippi, Wolf in Kansas, and Carr in Tennessee against Al uh, Lamar Alexander. They're up against rhinos, two rhinos, Cochran and Alexander, who vote with the Democrats 50% of the time, according to the record of Heritage Foundation. So why is this the necessary priority? Because if the Senate remains under Democrat control, it's over. No legislation will flow, and there will be no way to block liberal judges, implement control of our borders, stop executive orders, repeal Obamacare, have fair elections, etc. In the two years remaining of, of Obama, his transformation of America to a socialist Marxist state will be completed or no way to reverse. There will be nothing we can do about it. Period. End of America, as we know. Forgive me, for, forgive me for being blunt, but all of the subject on today's meeting agenda, agenda are folly and a waste of effort if we don't take the Senate. You're here. The action required is to go to the candidates' websites. They're easy to find. Donate and volunteer, but do it by priority. For example, Mississippi is right now uh, the highest priority. Uh, I think August 5th comes uh, Tennessee and Lamar Alexander and Wolf, and then Kansas uh, on the 7th, I believe. But that's a low priority, and I want to comment that Roberts, who is the incumbent, has a 93% voting record, conservative voting record in the Congress. I don't know why, but you wouldn't would I remove him with that kind of a record. Okay, let's go to the update of the McDaniel Challenge of the GOP runoff in Mississippi. I've been fortunate to, to be in contact with uh, their campaign, the, the communications uh, manager, and has given me the latest update. Uh, as you know, McDaniel won the June 3rd primary by less than 50%, actually just a half a percent. He won it. But because of 50% doesn't run off. June 23rd, Runoff polling have McDaniels up 6% right up to the last couple days. But Cochran won by 2%, the run. It was clear something that polls couldn't detect happened. That is, they didn't poll the Democrats. They only polled the Republicans. Well, of course, it's a GOP primary, right? Okay. So that explains an 8% swing. The result, Cochran was certified to have won by 7,400 votes. That's been done because 15,400 Democrats voted for Cochran in a GOP run. <coughs> and an estimated 30 to 40,000 Democrats voted in the GOP run. Je McDonald has been checking, McDaniel, excuse me, McDaniel has been checking the records and has found over 10,000 plus voter irregularities. It's actually 13, 14,000. Many thousands of which were votes cast by Democrats who crossed over on June 23rd and then also voted on June 24th, runoff, which is illegal in Mississippi. A Democrat can cross over vote in the GOP primary like they can here in Ohio, but not in the runoff again. Also, they found suspicious records where the Democrat voted on June 3rd and on, and on June 24th, but the June 3rd vote was, was uh, crossed off with a pencil. They checked 58 of, 58 of 82 counties, but can't get the records in the other 24 counties. The GOP is using the Secretary of State to obstruct access 
to the 24 counties, where most likely a great many more irregularities exist because they're Democrat counties. So, the following is the procedure McDaniel must follow to contest the wrong. First, gain access to the records, find the irregularities, file a change request with the GOP, wait for 10 days for a hearing. The GOP may or may not give them a hearing. If they do, they'll ask it to be open to the public, which is good. No resolution, if no resolution, they'll file a challenge with the court. Finally, there is no deadline. There is no deadline. Don't, don't listen to the people that tell you that. The claim that Mississippi must finalize federal candidates on the ballot 45 days prior to the November election and that all of the above must be settled by September 20th deadline is false. The challenge can proceed and the election results can be tossed out at any point. Also, the court proceedings will be a jury trial which is a very beneficial is very beneficial to the challenge. And my comment to that is in, in my opinion, the GOP does not want to try exposing exposing who and what they did. I mean if I were a part of the GOP, I would not want that. Needless to say the GOP voters in Mississippi are outraged. Again not <coughs> They can finally determine either that McDaniel, McDaniel won, the, uh, won the runoff, award him the, uh, the win, or there must be a new runoff. And my opinion is the GOP will want the runoff to save face. Uh, Action required, go to McDaniel's website and donate your money in time. Call Rob Portman's office, if you haven't heard. <laughs> Ask him to take back the money he contributed <coughs> to Cock. And there's many more, but in our situation here in Ohio, is support. If you have any questions or wish to get a hold of me about these issues in the exhibit, send me an email. I'll put it on my list for updates. Okay. Now, do I have any more time? I have taken, uh, let's see, I've taken how much? 